Welcome to The Gab Show. We'll be with you in just a few minutes with our show host, Gabby Johnson, Melissa Tenzer, and Ty Robinson. Enjoy real talk, real insight about our central New Jersey community. You can watch this show at any time on Central New Jersey Network Community TV and cable TV such as Comcast and Fios, as well as all the streaming platforms including Apple TV, Roku, Amazon Fire, YourTownTube.com and FitFabAndWellTube.com. And if you feel like supporting this program, please visit www.cngn.org. Thank you for your support, and we invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I feel so proud of each and every one of you because, to me, y'all are doing an excellent job, and I'm very thankful for all the time and all the patience and the hard work that you are putting in this uh, Forever Forward grant. And it just makes me proud to see what God is continuously doing. Well, the Forever Forward grant, it has been an awesome, awesome experience from start into this present moment. It started off with us attending five intents, Saturday, all day Saturday classes at the Smith Family Foundation, where they have connected us to work on our vision statement, our mission statement, and the list just really, really goes on, as well as connected us to executive directors that has uh, more established organizations. As it stands now, going forward, we are excited how we're gonna be learning more whenever we attend these classes. The good thing about this program is that it allows us to expand our current program. It's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. That's what this grant is. It's a phenomenal grant. It's a phenomenal organization, the Smith family. And I am so glad that they are rooted here in Trenton because most organizations um, don't do what they're doing. They just don't do what they're doing. And hopefully everybody will model what they're doing to be able to teach organizations that are grassroots how to get to the level, the next level, the next level, and how to impact the community. On behalf of Homeworks, I want to say a huge thank you to the Smith Family Foundation for not only, you know, allowing us to be a part of this grant, but also to be a part of the bigger Smith Family Foundation family. They have taught us so much, um, not only from being in community with all the other grassroots nonprofits that are part of this grant, but also teaching us leadership skills and um, how to build up our nonprofit. And um, we're just so excited to continue growing and working alongside the foundation and the wider Trenton community. Welcome to The Gab. This is a very special episode. It is the season of holiday and also Giving Tuesday. And I am here with Melissa. Hi, Gabby. I'm so glad to be here for this special episode. There is so much going on during the holidays. But first of all, we are here in the new studio for CNJN. And we're so excited to be in downtown Trenton for the first time with his studio on 1 West State Street in Trenton. So, so many great things happening in the community that we're gonna talk about today. Giving Tuesday is one of them, which is so important to everybody and nonprofits. So we're gonna that, get all into it all, but first the holidays. Right, but we're first in the holiday, this is so exciting. It is, of course, the season, one of my favorite time of the, of the year. Oh, yes. Uh, because suddenly people are becoming much nicer. <laughs> <laughs> True. Right? Yes, I guess. Very nice around the holidays. Yeah, very except nice. for when they're shopping. Yeah, except when they are <laughs> shopping. But what are the few things that you have on your list, Melissa, during the holiday? So one thing that's really important to me is my daughter went off to college this year, so right. she's coming home, and I want to be able to really spend as much time as possible with her. I know she's going to want to see her friends, but I'm going to capitalize on just enjoying my daughter and having that time together. Right. Um, 
family so important but unfortunately this year my sister um, does have leukemia and she is going to be going for the holidays she's getting a stem cell um, transplant in the hospital I tested to be the donor as her sister and my other donor fortunately is going to be able to save her life so as we talk about people going through tough times and giving yes. Tuesday and people being happy in the community we also have times that we're sad and, and we can lean into that as well so prayers for my sister Kate at this time. That, that is right, and I think it's a good point, meaning so many times we are looking about the good side of the holiday season, uh, but yet you do have moments where you just need to have a moment of silence mm -hmm. and pray for the, lo the loved ones uh, that are out there and that need your help. Uh, so Giving Tuesday, this is so exciting, and we have a guest we do. coming in. We absolutely do. So Giving Tuesday is November 28th, and it's a time that many nonprofits look to be able to get to the next level and really raise awareness for the charity. So we uh, have the Smith Family Foundation, who we have coming on today to talk about Giving Tuesday. They have some of their grant recipients here that we're going to highlight so that they can get some background from individuals and also from from other community members to get engaged with their cause. Right. So the Smith Family Foundation has been around for about seven years um, right. and they do great work mainly in Trenton. About 85% of the grants that they give are in the city of Trenton. Right. And we have Catherine Nanulli who is the CEO and a Smith Family member. Catherine spent the majority of her career in Essex County as an educator and community organizer. In 2016, Catherine returned to her hometown of Trenton, New Jersey, served as the executive director and is now the CEO of the Smith Family Foundation in Trenton. Their mission is armed to empower the community, cultivate leaders, and transform lives by providing funding and leadership. And what's really important is the blessing to the community is they are black, women and family in philanthropy, which is really, uh -huh. really important. And you really stick to that core mission of 85% go to Trenton area foundations or recipients or charities. And um, we're just so thrilled that you're really taking that next level with the city of Trenton. So welcome, Catherine, thank to the you. show. We're so well, happy to have you here. Thank you so much here. for having us. Yes. Thank you. This is an awesome moment, meaning, so how do you basically make your selection into your process with the Smith Foundation? So we, thank you so much for bringing us here. Absolutely. I'm so excited <laughs> to be on the Gab yeah. Show. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm going to try my best not to Gab so much. Oh, uh, <laughs> yes, right, right, right. 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 Good. So um, the Smith Family Foundation is uh, it was a really simple choice. So I'm gonna try to tell the story really, really quickly. Um, and, and why we decided to stay here in Trenton and why we decided to do this whole philanthropy thing. So um, when I was a child, mm -hmm. quick story. When I was a child, my mom had a garden. My mother and my father, we had a garden. We lived in the South Water North, giving anybody I mean the South Water Trenton, anybody from Trenton, mm -hmm. we know that's that down is. the bottom, right? So they had this this garden in a in 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 right next to our house, and every morning four o'clock, we would have to get up. We would have to weed the garden. We would have to um, water the garden. We would have to take care of the garden. We would have to do all of these wonderful mm -hmm. things in this garden, and we had to plant these seeds. And then we would, as kids, if there were eight children, my mother mm -hmm. and my father, and then all these random people who lived with us, mm -hmm. uh, cousins and nephews, nieces, whoever. So every morning we were all up, we were all doing a thing, and my mom had grape vines and pear trees and apple mm, trees in the middle so of beautiful. the neighborhood. And it's like, this is happening before urban, you know, gardening oh. became a thing. Uh -huh. um, and so every morning we wake up, we do it, we take care of this, and then it was harvest time. Uh -huh. So harvest time would come, and we would all get out there and do the picking and the pruning and the packing of, ba mm. of bags. Uh -huh. So we were packing the bags and we, I'm a child, so I'm like, oh yeah, we're gonna have this wonderful stuff all for us. My mother and my father no. was like, no, we're no. not gonna have that all for us. <laughs> You're so giving it away. we're giving it away so that's for the community. That's where yes. all the foundation all really was laid. Started. It oh, all started way back, back as then, a way back that's as a child. Story. So when we, when we decided, hey, we're gonna do this foundation, mm -hmm. So and seeds in the city of Trenton, which is our tagline, is mm. it was just what it was, right? Uh -huh. We are sowing these seeds, and it's not just for us. Everything that we do is for everybody in the city of Trenton. So that's kind of like and where you, we came from. And do you still have the garden? 
No. Uh, <laughs> but that taught you life lessons. It taught me life lessons. Life yes. Lessons. <laughs> and plant the seeds. I, and I remember, I, remember I, I used to do, uh, so I used to go to my grandmother's house, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, in the mountain in Switzerland, uh, same thing. Mm -hmm. You know, we needed to go there with mm -hmm. the garden and so on and so on, and then, you know, bring the food to the mm -hmm. people right. in the area that didn't right. have. Yeah, so Giving Tuesday and, and the foundation, right? Yeah. It, it, this is an amazing thing. It's an thing. amazing thing. And, and definitely. Definitely, like you said, it's not just the Smith Family Foundation. A lot of people get money for a foundation and they're, you know, give some out, but you have an incubation center. Absolutely. So I want to, we want to hear a little bit more about that because not only are you granting money, you are cultivating get leadership skills in those individuals and you are almost mentoring, and you can tell us more about it, those smaller grassroots um, nonprofits that are coming into the city of Trenton to say, I'm giving this money and I know you can do it, but I'm going to give you the leadership, the skills, the mentors to be able to bring it to the next level. And not only that, I'm going to house you right here mm -hmm. in the Smith Family Foundation Incubation Center. So talk a little bit about that. So the incubation center, which is one of my favorite parts of the foundation, but it's a part of our whole purple ribbon. Mm -hmm. So it's really difficult to talk about one without talking about Let's all talk about of all the of things, them. Let's right? hear it. Let's so hear the about purple, the pillars. The purple ribbon really talks, the first of all, our mission is to cultivate leaders mm -hmm. and transform lives. We do that by giving out money. Yeah. And um, sometimes it's really interesting when a philanthropist say, you know, money is not the most important thing mm -hmm. for us. It's not. Um, we we want to give you money because we want your organization to be sustainable, but what's most important for us is that the educational piece comes in, mm -hmm. right? Because the Smith Family Foundation, we can leave at any time and say, we're going to spin down our corpus, but what we teach you and what the Smith Family Foundation shares with you in terms of how the nonprofit works, how philanthropy works, that stays with your organization forever. Mm -hmm. So we look at the entire organization as a structure mm -hmm. to make sure that um, folks are sustainable and they're ready mm -hmm. to move mm -hmm. forward even with so, without us. So what, what, which kind of challenges, meaning you are giving the money, mm -hmm. uh, first of all how do you select the people that you are giving the money to, but then you have that portion of education that comes in place. Uh, so what are the challenges that you see when you are giving mm -hmm. that whole platter of solution yet you so, have challenges. Right, so we have challenges. Um, first, I'll answer. We work, if you're from Trenton and mm -hmm. you're a nonprofit organization from Trenton and you service at least 85% of your participants mm -hmm. are from the city of Trenton, you put in an RFP just like all other mm -hmm. philanthropic organizations. And so when you do that, we try to make you understand mm -hmm. that the grant, the money is just a piece of what we're given. Mm -hmm. And that's where the challenge comes in because most nonprofits are used to going to, uh -huh. a, non to a philanthropy, yes. getting money, uh, and walking away, it. sending in their that's reports it. or what right. have you. But that's not what the foundation does. Okay. I'm like, you're gonna come to these uh, transformative leadership okay. development right. classes. Right. Yes. We're gonna have three of them if you're in this program. Right. And, and if you're mm -hmm. in our, um, our signature program, which is the Forever Forward Fellowship, you're going to come to 30 of them over a three-year wow. period. Yes. So 30. that's amazing. So Catherine, what's really interesting about that is I remember seven years ago when mm -hmm. you opened up and people getting the grants and then saying that they had to go to those programs. Mm -hmm. And at first they were a little thrown off, like I'm getting this money, but there's this big commitment. And then mm -hmm. they really realized that they needed that mm -hmm. to be able to get to the next level, which is so important. I've been on the other end where I've done donor advised funds and given out money and been in the nonprofit space. And like you said, they do the RFP, they go on, they write the grant, right. and then from there they get the money, and there really is a report or two right. where you're taking it to the next level to say, you're more grassroots, we kind of have been around, we know what's going right. on in the city of Trenton, and we're going to guide you, mentor you, and we're going to help you right. get to the next level for the people of right. Trenton. Mm -hmm. for the people and of that's Trenton. what it's all about, almost like we're all in it together. Absolutely. And that's what's rare about what you're doing in comparison to a lot of foundations out there. And like I said, people were not understanding when they were applying and then they were really relishing in it mm. after they understood right. that whole process because right. mm. they needed that mentorship, right. they needed that leadership. 
and the workshops and the programs that right. you provide. Right. So I think this is uh, bringing also uh, the portion of the outreach, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, we are going to bring uh, Nikki on to yes. kind of give you <laughs> a, a strong arm <laughs> yes. to uh, make that case. Uh, so we are going to take a break, uh, and we will be right back, so don't go anywhere. Welcome, I am Gabby Johnson. Today we are talking about video content. It is the perfect medium to pass complex messages to your customer, because in reality, who does read big block of text and follow images into a long blog or newsletter? Not many. Today, we are into the area of smartphone and people are scrolling through these videos, content faster than you can know it. So today I invite you to create video content, but then don't stop here. Once you have created your video content, you need to distribute that video content. And yes, you can use your social media platform and it is great, but here at Your Town Tube, we are offering you a social platform that allows you to distribute your videos to the local market. So join the movement, Put your video content on your town tube and let the local community see your content. And if you don't know how to do any video content and you need a little bit help, then just give us a call and we will be happy to help you. Thank you for watching. Your Town Tube is today's number one all local promotion, social media and networking in the Princeton Mercer region. The most effective, attractive, quickest and affordable ways to reach a huge local audience. Welcome back to The Gab. We are so thrilled to be able to have so much great programming for you here in the Trenton studio. We're talking about Giving Tuesday and the holidays in general. And we're here with the Smith Family Foundation and one of their grantees. And Gabby, tell us about it. Yes, absolutely. First of all, I love that story of the garden that, that we heard just a little bit earlier. But now we have Nikki, Nikki Anders. Right, yes. and you are part of that arm that goes and outreach. So you, the director yes. of that arm, right? Yes. T tell us how important outreach is all about. First, tell us about your your foundation too. Yes. A little oh bit about your foundation gosh. and the name, and a little bit more about your mission. Yes, uh, we go short by saying life, but it's Legacy International. Okay. Mm. We are a nonprofit based here in the city of Trenton. Um, sponsored heavily by the Smith Family Foundation for like their support and they believe in us because there's plenty of times we want to be like, we don't want to do this. <laughs> <laughs> but they be like, no, Is keep that going. true, Catherine? <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it keeps going. Mm -hmm. But um, we do community outreach. Um, mm -hmm. We heavily focus on youth and family and getting word out in the city of Trenton. Because, as you know, Trenton is small, but Trenton is big in a way as far as getting information out. Mm. So part of our main thing is the HUD Community app, which puts all the information. We try to get everything that goes out in the city to the community so that way they have resources available to them. They know where to get food pantries. It came about during COVID. So... It was like everyone needed information, but there was no one place to find it. So we decided to come up with this community app mm. that would tell people where they can get oh, food for their nice. kids, so where they can. So it's, a, it's an app. It's mm. an app on so your what is the, the It's name called of the, the Hot Community Hot the app. The Hot Community. And it's because we. Yes. I knew it would happen. I got right on there. Yes. I was in the know. Because so what we, do you do exactly with that app? The app is. Um, we put information on what's going on in the community okay. as far as resources where people can get medical attention, okay. um, they can get food pantry bags. It has all the list of food pantries that in the city awesome. of Trenton. It, awesome. it has all the resources available. If you need to go, even an anchor stuff where you mm -hmm. can fill out and get that check, it's right there on the app. Okay. So, so Nikki is one of your example, right? Mm -hmm. She's mm -hmm. one grantees. of your grantees. She's one of our grantees. So, mm -hmm. the, uh, so now tell us how hard is the 30 step program. <laughs> <laughs> that's 
<laughs> did, so, did you have to do 30 <laughs> steps? <laughs> she's not. She's not. No. Nikki's in the incubation center. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So they're yeah. in the incubation yeah. center. Yeah. Yeah. We're so not doing that. They're, they're, they're not doing that. We want to hear more about that center. And I want to see what you thought, Catherine, when Nikki had this idea and the foundation was formed with the CEO. Did you say this is such a cool concept? This is something so, that's needed in trend, or did you say like I'm not sure if it fits into our mission? I know this is getting into the yes. weeds, but what no, was your no, thought? She's right, 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 right away. Right away. From, from, from the very yes. start. Oh, I love that. Start. So okay, that's Nikki great. and her um, partner, me and yeah, they yes. came through. Um, we were talking about the the the. the the, the purple ribbon before. Yes, so it yes, starts yes. off with the community empowerment classes. Mm -hmm. And awesome. Nikki and me and me and came through the community empowerment Ooh. classes. Now this is an interesting piece, but because then we don't give grants for the community empower class. They they actually pay us for the right to come into those classes. It's $125. I think I know which about is this. a very <laughs> nominal fee. Yeah. It, it is. Right. It is. Based on what they get. Because mm -hmm. it's six weeks full of intensive work, learning how to mm -hmm. do nonprofits, whether or not you even need a nonprofit. <laughs> right, There's right, right. So right. many yeah. in this city. Oh my gosh, there's so, so many. many. So many. And, and so you have to be real about whether they need to And you have to be real. Right. You have to mm -hmm. ask yourself these hard questions. Do I really need to do this? Right. Yes. And what they are doing is so unique that there was no other organization out here doing it, mm. especially with the Huck Community app. Yes. They do some amazing work with that, mm -hmm. but I don't want to pass by their um, leadership training program that they do in the summertime. They yes. work with high that. school students. Oh, yes. It is amazing work mm -hmm. that they're training mm -hmm. them and getting them ready for a career. Oh, let's hear a little so, bit more mm -hmm. about that um, workshop in the summer camp. The summer camp yes. program Ooh. is six weeks of intense work. The kids decide what they're what they're gonna major in in college. Mm. So they come up and they say, this is what I wanna do. We get them somebody that's in that field. Mm -hmm. They interview right. the person. They go through every step of learning that field before you put that on your college to your college application. Because you don't want, the thing is, we all got those degrees back in the day that we never used. Now we pay you to get Now we use, we pay you to get I tried, but we I tried. Tried. <laughs> We, because for example, me and got his degree in engineering, and I was uh -huh. like, "Have you ever used that?" He was like, "I don't know." Uh -huh. <laughs> so yeah, we exactly. like, so we just want to cut like that, like mm -hmm. get to the chase. Like some kids realize that you know what, I can go to a trade school. Yes, mm -hmm. other so options. important. And there's there. other options out yes. there. So we try Community to match them out, mm -hmm. and we do try to match them out with courses in the community college. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. this is your major, you want to be a nurse. Mercer County College has one of the best nursing programs. Sure do. You don't even have to go outside of Trenton mm -hmm. to get that. And you get the best right internship mm -hmm. at Robert Wood Johnson. So mm -hmm. we try to get mm -hmm. them those information that like so why awesome. would you want to go outside of town? We have a nurse that we would get nurses or doctors. Mm -hmm. One kid was the hardest. He said he wanted to be a brain surgeon. Mm. Oh. And I called everywhere. I finally got one <laughs> Oh, wow. And he had to interview the doctor. Oh, so nice. it's like, what did you go to school for? How intense was the training? Mm -hmm. right. And the doctors or whoever the interview are mm -hmm. really real with them. Like, mm -hmm. okay, this is the path you want to be on. Yeah. I will mentor you through it. Nice. But this is the step you have to take. It's mm -hmm. not going to be easy to tell them how many hours right. they're going to have to mm -hmm. study, how much of their personal life they're going right. to have to give up for those choices. Right. And then they decide like, okay, I want to major in this mm -hmm. and I'm right. going to do it. And, and also you said that you had that connection uh, where, from where the, the source of yeah. the company is? It's, uh, we are from Liberia. Liberia. So we, yes, mm -hmm. so the right. hot community is based on if any African movies, anything, uh -huh. we go to the Palava Hut. That Ooh. was our social media. That That's from. where the um, cool. elders would she give people. She carries her. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I, think, I think those That's should be the brand extravaganza yeah. session. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. We, can talk so, about we, we carry that with us because if it wasn't for the people that poured into us, mm. we wouldn't be here. And mm -hmm. us being from another country coming yes. here, we mm -hmm. always want to give back. So we also, part of our organization, 
also sponsor kids to go mm -hmm. to school in Liberia. Mm -hmm. We started off with four kids, now we add 15. Mm -hmm. okay. And we make a trip to go back to make sure that they get in the proper education. See, and this is, and they this do is what, what they have to do. What I love about that whole system mm -hmm. of giving back. It all starts yeah. with them. Yeah. It all starts with the Smith you know, family. Yeah. It's giving Tuesday and the recipients. Look at, look at that, it goes all the way over there. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I have a question for you. Where do the recruits come from? Because the hardest part is getting people People, young people to buy into the mission and understand the value that you have. So, where do they come from? Is it from we, the high schools? Is there yes, one particular it's school a lot of, that's a feeder? Tell no, us about that. It's process. a lot of like, work we do. We yeah. deal with kids from foundation. Mm -hmm. I'm always in a community, so I mentor kids in a community. So, it's easy for me to. What you interested in being? Mm -hmm. What do you want to have mm -hmm. a summer program? Register mm -hmm. for this program and learn. So it's all about networking and talking to kids. And when they feel comfortable, everyone wants to be something in life. Yes. And the mm -hmm. thing is, they just need somebody to kind of guide them and give You're them. Right. And with the Smith Family Foundation, did for us, we tried to like pay it forward. Yes. So even when we go back home, when I went to Liberia, it was mm -hmm. one of the things I told the people in the community, oh. like those mothers, like you have people rooting for your kids that you never even met, oh, that I you probably that. would never even that meet. And they know they have a whole support team that they have mm -hmm. never met, they just seen pictures. So it was during COVID that you got the funding to start this, is that right? Tell us Do, how many years ago and some of the progress oh that you've God. made. Gosh, it was, we started off the foundation before COVID and the um, life started off in about 2004. Then it kind of like dwindled down mm -hmm. and we weren't doing nothing. But then we started having like little conversations like, what do we do? But when COVID started, it was like that be still moment where you can look at mm. yourself and be like, okay, I have goals. I have a purpose. Yes. This, this is, is what I want to do. A purpose. And then it, nice. everything mm -hmm. just came mm -hmm. in line. Didn't have those resources. They, they didn't. Know didn't. What was and I remember, closed. yeah, and I remember yes, when we started talking about it, it was like, can we really do this? Mm. And me and was like, okay, I can build an app. If yeah. you do the legwork and get all the information, mm -hmm. And because of my resource and my connection with the city, I'm like calling everybody like, where do they give COVID shots? <laughs> where do they do this? So it was right. like trying to find out resources. So now when people say there's nothing to do in Trenton, I pull on my app, I'd be like, yes, you got like 25 things exactly. to do this weekend. Today. So uh, you, yeah. you just so go. Awesome. But we also have good people that follow mm -hmm. us like we have a mm -hmm. we have the smith family we have Vanzilla's crown which is mm -hmm. a um, partner with us we have empowerment house mm -hmm. we have like good people that like those voices come like you can't do this and then people <laughs> come and be like yes you yes, can you, you can. gotta keep yeah. going, going and doing this because right. people mm -hmm. need this and when terrell talks about the app it like just boost me up. I feel oh, like, oh, does. now we got to update the app. Yes. Yes. So, <laughs> so right, right here with your grantee is a great example. Like, you know, you know her before COVID mm -hmm. and now it's like a few years. So really like even when you do uh, have that grantee, it, it's a lifetime relationship. It's a lifetime okay. relationship. Yes. Even when people graduate out of our program, um, we still, they, they still have our phone mm -hmm. number they call if they need something yes. they call can you introduce me to this person can you do mm -hmm. it's right it's a, a lifetime it it's a, a lifetime it's a, a partnership services. It's, it's not grantor grantee right. we're, in this, we're in this together and the kids we're in this together we're 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 in this together because we have to do it together to win i want to say two things one yes. um nikki was talking about the different career paths and everything like that right. and that's a one that's a a, a, a wonderful thing that we talk about because our service agenda is higher education as a normal next step. And the Smith Family Foundation defines higher education mm -hmm. in five different ways or pathways to yes. higher education. We don't just look at higher education as going off to college because we know um, that a community, a thriving community needs mm -hmm. both an engineer, but they also need an electrician. Yes. So we want to make sure that people are not saying to kids, um, you're you don't uh, or you're you're college you're not college material, material. Mm -hmm. i don't want anyone saying that to a child right. or you're not mm -hmm. 
you don't have you don't need to go to college or mm -hmm. I don't want mm -hmm. them to say that to children I want them I want children to feel mm -hmm. empowered yes. and know that it and takes not, not every it, it children does. is made to go to college yes. every child uh, let, is let, not made to go to college it's like but we, we say college yes. college mm -hmm. college but yes. some people rather mm -hmm. work with their hands and that's why we have the five trades. pathways mm -hmm. to yes. higher education but we look at the fact that is it it takes as much intelligence to read an electrician yes. book that oh, that, oh, yeah. that it does to take and you an engineering book. With the yes. technical so, schools. Exactly. Right. So what we do is we promote higher education through right. mm -hmm. a four year college, a two year college, mm -hmm. technical mm -hmm. school, mm -hmm. adult returning education mm -hmm. and career yeah. readiness. And we mm -hmm. also consider Smith Family Foundations experts in their field. So the all of the nonprofit mm -hmm. organizations have to come through our transformative leadership development yeah. program. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we don't separate it out. Yeah. We include it to five right. pathways to higher education so not just going off to college mm -hmm. yeah. and that's how we fund yes and, and that's what we do yes all right Great work Nikki Anderson so good to have you work. on the program yeah. thank you for thank joining you. us thank we you are being here we are gonna go to a uh, break but don't go anywhere come back we are going to talk about a little bit more about this wonderful Giving Tuesday and some brand extravaganza Dress for Success Central New Jersey has 10 workforce development programs to help women become the best version of themselves in the workforce. We have effective communication, know your worth, understanding that you too can get that next raise and get to the next level in your career to be able to support yourself and your family. Dress for Success is a volunteer organization that helps people throughout Central New Jersey. Welcome back to The Gab. We have Jennifer P. Sheridan, the founder of Global Youth Transformation Initiative. She too is a grantee from the Smith Family Foundation just a couple years ago, and she is in the incubation center. I wanna tell you a little about Jennifer. Jennifer um, was born and raised in the United Kingdom and integrated into this country in 1985. She is the founder and executive director of Global Youth Transformation. GYTI, a nonprofit organization that promotes and fosters global awareness through education that empowers underserved and underfunded middle and high school students to reimagine their life and envision a better future. That's Ooh. a lot of great work there, Jennifer. We thank go way you. back, and we I'm so, yes. so proud to have you on our show. And thank you for having mm -hmm. me. Yes. I'm really excited to be here today. Yeah, I love the accent. <laughs> I do. Too. She has an <laughs> accent. <laughs> Yeah. From Borden. London. Uh, yes, not from, from London, but from England. Yeah. From, from England. England. North okay. of the country, yes. North of oh, the country. Beautiful. Yeah. 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 And how great that you're working with the Smith Family Foundation in the incubation. Tell us a little bit about your nonprofit. And so, the yeah, the Global Youth Transformation Initiative came out, it was birthed out of my time at Yale University when I was a student there. And it was really this concept of, you know, my own personal life and just what I wanted to do next. Like, I realized that, I mean, at 10 years old, I came to America for the first time. And it was out of that, I didn't know that 10 years later, I would be literally coming here and emigrating and living here. Mm. And since then, I've traveled the world, and I realized that that opportunity that I had to travel the world impacted just who I am as a person and how I see the world. And because of that, I wanted other kids to experience that, but not just experience like, okay, let's go on a trip and go somewhere. With the family, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a little but different. really, let's go and see what it means to serve, to give back to other people, because so many yeah. kids don't realize mm. that they have so much uh -huh. here. And it's not until they go outside of their comfort zone, they go outside to another country, they actually realize, wait a minute, there's so much I can do right here. Mm -hmm. I have so much to give. And that's really what the whole concept was birthed out of, this idea of being able to allow children to see themselves beyond Let's say Trent in the seven miles right, that they yes, live in, but yeah, they live. but to and actually not, not open up their eyes. Not only, I think like when you when you are a kid, uh, it is so hard to make all those hard decisions. You know, mm -hmm. what I'm going to be, mm -hmm. who I'm going to be, yeah. who I am. Yeah. You know, what do I want to? You know, it's so hard. Mm -hmm. Even if you have all the system in place, but nevertheless, when yeah. you don't. Uh, so uh, mentoring is is mm -hmm. one of the, the, the uh, a big thing uh, I think that we are missing mm -hmm. today into mm -hmm. our society yeah. uh, and what you're doing seems that you are mentoring a lot of people but we also heard that <laughs> you were the first one <laughs> yeah. January 1st 2020 <laughs> yeah. to, to that incubation center. 
Yeah, I, I, I was chomping <laughs> How at did the you bit. Feel about that? I mean, I first. <laughs> it was it, it was interesting. It was a lot going on at that time, but I was really blessed by the, the Smith Family Foundation to even be allowed to be an NQB in the incubation center. Thank you. Because, so tell us. Yeah, because like we had so I'll backtrack me just yes. to COVID. Like okay. Our organization actually started in 2013, and we had gone to Mozambique, and we were going to do a trip to Mozambique, but financially it just couldn't happen. You know, trying to raise mm -hmm. funds to take 10, yeah. 11 kids to Africa just was not possible. possible. Um, and then I ended up moving, I ended up leaving the Bronx and coming to New Jersey, and, they, and then moved to Trenton. Right. And um, I remember saying to one of my board members at the time, I'm like, okay, let's restart this. Let's, because it had been sitting around and mm -hmm. nothing had really happened. Little did we know when we restarted it and we'd met with the Fisk Smith Family Foundation right. and we went to one of the classes to talk about the incubation mm -hmm. center and what it would be and what their vision was for this place, mm -hmm. for, for uh, grassroots nonprofit organizations mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to have a place to start actually doing their, their work. Mm -hmm. And um, I remember going to the class and I remember speaking to everyone and getting to meet them and I'm like, okay, we're gonna do this. And I remember speaking to our board and we're saying, yes, we're gonna do this. And then COVID hit. Mm. And then we were like, well, mm -hmm. how Set can that. we actually take kids on an international trip and the whole world's closed down? Uh -huh. yes. So, True. I mean, like a lot of people, we hunkered down mm -hmm. and we yes. decided we were going to create a virtual learning oh, program. That's wow. great. Everybody had to pivot mm -hmm. and reinvent exactly. themselves. Mm -hmm. with, with your mission, that was, it was hard perfect. to do, but it was perfect yes. to be able to do the but virtual. But in actuality, we didn't realize the blessing in disguise behind that right. because Ooh, our right. virtual learning um, committee that put together this whole program, mm -hmm. we actually came up with a curriculum, a service learning curriculum that is an actual academic program that runs from the fall, spring, and summer, okay. where we teach kids how to actually do service, how nice. to engage in their community. Because mm -hmm. we don't want to tell kids, well, this is what we think you need to do. We want right. to be able to tell we kids, from them. yeah, you tell us what you think Here's the community voice. needs. And you'd know. be surprised how quickly kids, when they start working together, like, okay, we want to do this, we mm -hmm. want to do this. I remember last semester we had some kids in our program that made me so aware to the homeless situation mm -hmm. in Trenton that I just, it wasn't that I was blind or I didn't mm -hmm. know about mm -hmm. homelessness. It's just that you didn't I didn't know see how it. Worked. I didn't right. see it. And they actually <laughs> opened right. my yeah. eyes to right. see right. it. Yes. It's, it's very hard as a smaller nonprofit to get funding. And so oh. thank goodness for the Smith Family Foundation. How are you um, partnering with other mm -hmm. people to be able to get to the next level? Smith Family does a lot. Is there other outside resources that you're utilizing? And tell us a little bit about that. Because yeah. other nonprofits that are starting out say, I don't know if I can do it. And mm -hmm. you're giving them hope that they can yeah. believe yeah. in their mission and, and regardless of COVID, move it forward and reinvent themselves. So tell us about that. Yeah, I think for us, I mean, everybody knows somebody so that's mm -hmm. where you start you start with those people that you know and you ask them to support you mm -hmm. and we really worked hard on getting some reoccurring donors people that would give on a regular basis mm -hmm. that's very and important. then connecting with other people i was really blessed a few years ago to literally cultivate a relationship with a good friend that i knew mm -hmm. luann whose family had a foundation the green foundation and they right. have been recipients and kind of donated to the smith excuse me to the Global Youth Transformation Initiative for the last couple of years with Wonderful. a really large donation, oh, which has been the reoccurring are the best, and yeah, they're hard to come by. They you can get are a one year, that's okay. They but you are. get a three-year grant, right? And they're really, really embedded yeah. in your mission. That makes a big difference. It so does. You know where you're going to be. It does, and that money allowed us to take out to actually do our first international trip to the Dominican mm -hmm. Republic to take a group of ten, okay. and that's kids. Great. I mean, and they, I literally saw transformation with these mm. kids during um, this first trip to the Dominican Republic with the right. kids. So yeah, I mean, it's, it, you can do it. It is, it is a lot of work. Absolutely. It is hard work. Yeah. But if you believe in the mission, because it, it really is. resonated with you. Yeah. So that's so important. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Well, thank you for joining us today. Thank and, you for having uh, me. Thank you, yes. Jennifer. I really so appreciate it. And continue the great work. Always communicate. Yes, yes. To giving and share, Tuesday. And giving share, Tuesday. Share, <laughs> giving Tuesday. <laughs> giving pass Tuesday. Pass it on. We hope you yeah. do very well. And pass you. it on. Continue to do that thank great you. work. Thank you, thank you Jennifer. Me. And thank you to the Smith Family Foundation. Thank you so thank you. much. And uh, we are going to take uh, another break and see you right back after the break. And be sure to watch the next Central New Jersey by Local Connection. You have to follow us. We said yes to the dress. This is going to be very exciting. I can't wait to show you this amazing dress. We find the dress. And after we find the dress, we zip down and went to Luca Restaurante for a 
fabulous cocktail. So wedding, pre-rehearsal dinner, all in one package. This is the next show. Watch it in Central New Jersey Network. And follow us on Princeton Mercer Live Local Facebook page so you will know when the show air. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome back. back. Welcome, welcome back. back. Welcome, welcome back. back. We are back here talking about Giving Tuesday with the Smith Family Foundation. It's everything about giving, and we have Tara Butler, who is the Director of Community Outreach, who is joining us. Thank you for being here, Tara. It's a pleasure being here, and thank you for having me. Absolutely. I wouldn't have missed it. Oh, thank you. I know you're doing a lot for Giving Tuesday, and we're talking yes. about Arlie's Blen, who is in yes. Trenton now, and Paula Taylor and her brother and the whole family getting involved. Mm -hmm. I know there's many other organizations that you're working with for Giving Tuesday. Tell us a little bit more about that. Absolutely. Arlie's always supporting Smith Family Foundation, always supporting the nonprofit sector. So the Arlie's along with several other businesses in the city of Trenton, is part, we're, they're partnering with the Smith Family Foundation to support the nonprofit sector in the mm -hmm. city of Trenton. Um, the two organizations that we talked to today, Legacy International and Global Youth Transformation, mm -hmm. if you go to Arlie's and purchase their beet blend juice and their KT juice, 20% of the proceeds will be donated to those two organizations. Love Not that. just on November the 28th, but all month of November. So please, right. if you drink that, and everybody Great should be drinking it. Great partnership. They should be drinking it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But we have a few other um, businesses, businesses in the community. Mm -hmm. We have Caesar's Italian Restaurant. If you go there, mm. they're supporting the Trenton Public Library. We have um, Castelluna. They're supporting the Children's Home Society, mm -hmm. and we have Classic Books and Gifts. Mm -hmm. They're supporting mm -hmm. Safket Literacy Projects. And so we know there's way more nonprofits. So, so mm -hmm. I'm sure that a lot of our viewers didn't catch all those names. So where should they go? They should go to the Hut Community app, Love it. and there they will go. find all of these businesses mm -hmm. on the Hut Community app and they will find a list of other nonprofits mm -hmm. in the city of Trenton that they can support if they decide they don't want to support mm -hmm. one of these. That's all right. on the HUD. You can all join. All nonprofits can join. All they have to do is go to www.sffnj and register for Given Tuesday, mm -hmm. and we'll get their information to the Community Hut app for people. We to love Caesar's give. Restaurant. We yes. eat there yes. often. Yes. We just <laughs> featured them at our big gala at oh, Dress for Success. Love it. Yes. Love it. Oh. They went through our oh, program, so that they're awesome. great. So great. great restaurant in the city of Trenton. But let's love talk it. about holidays. So, mm. do, uh, do we want to mm. talk about something fun? Yes, let's talk about something fun. Okay. Let's talk about right. fashion and shopping for yes. relatives and, and what we want. What do we want for the holidays? <laughs> what do you want, Catherine? What are you thinking? What do What's you special want? on your on your My holiday list? My husband asked me that same thing last night, and I, I I don't know. But all I know is I wanted to be sparkly. Yeah, and I wanted <laughs> yes. to be shiny and surprising. And I wanted to be surprising. <laughs> all I. My Christmas lights are up already. So. Oh, really? Yes. Already? Absolutely. I wait till after Thanksgiving no, to put no, them up. No. The day after, which makes it a little hectic. But I think I think a woman needs a purse. So oh. we have a brand extravaganza. Yes. Gabby, tell us a little bit about so what brand, that is and yes. how we feature different brands. Absolutely. So we we ha we having Longchamp today who is actually mm -hmm. giving us uh, this product because it is uh, something that they're gifting. Uh, but uh, the brand extravaganza is really something that highlights something that the Gab likes. Mm. Today we are talking about the purses. The purses. So and tell us more about Longchamp. So they've been around since 1971. They have women. Oh, <laughs> what a great year, Tara. Perfect year. But um, more importantly, they have a lot of women's apparel and purses and clothing, and they support Dress for Success, and they gift us with all of these purses to give out to our women when they're getting their clothing for the holidays mm -hmm. or when they're getting their bras and underwears, everything mm -hmm. that's donated Dress for Success, and this is a great organization. So we love this purse. Actually, a funny story is I, I bought this purse, and I'm going to give it to a special person today in the room. We'll have to see who that is. Oh, how great it is. And Gabby, we have another purse. 
Absolutely. There. Gabby already took this one and hid it under the table for yes. herself. That's right. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> you it's see, it goes outfit. exactly. It does. It's my goes with your I love outfit. The All right. It goes. It's beautiful. It goes. It's beautiful. So this is a beautiful. Of course, you know, you can't you can't complain. Women love purses. We can never mm -hmm. have enough no. of purses. So true. Men out there, if you're shopping for your ladies, mm -hmm. make purse. sure you put a purse or a longchamp on the list and oh, under the Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. And they're uh, doing business in 80 countries, so there's wow. so many retail stores and they're just growing and they're giving back. All of that is about, you know, we're receiving great gifts, but then mm -hmm. giving back to others. And that's what this is all about. Absolutely. So Tara, what do you want for the holidays? And, and what's important to you with your family? And tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, I'm a mother of Five. Oh, <laughs> Mother of five. Busy time of year. Two, two grand. So I think for me, I just want to spend some quality time. I love family time. Nice. Um, I come from a close-knit close, close -knit family. And I just want to spend some quality time with my grandkids. Oh, I yes. have two, four, and nine. Yeah. Uh, and Christmas Christmas has always been my favorite holiday. Mm, uh, nice. My grandmother, my mom's mom, was actually born on Christmas Day. So we like to get together and just, you know, celebrate. But what I want for Christmas, <laughs> I A long would, show. A long show. <laughs> I could take that. I know. Yeah. This right. comes in many colors, no, no, this right? Is Do they have blue? Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
have video. Queen. I have video of uh, that girl. Oh, you do? You've <laughs> seen yes. this live? Yes, I've oh seen it live. God, I love it. <laughs> so we, we like to get together. We get all the, um, uh, my siblings, um, the nieces and nephews, mm -hmm. and we come together either at my house or my sister's house, and I love to cook. Oh, that's great. Mm. So we cook really and we delicious. just get together and just love on each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How about Christmas yep. tree lightings? Does anyone go to Christmas trees lighting? They, they're so, oh, that's you, something. You made I'm, me think hmm. about something. I love Christmas actually, tree lightings throughout actually, the city, actually, throughout all the state. There's with, so many great the events. Tree, without the tree. So the other day we were uh, uh, just talking and we, we went to that gala with Mike mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it was Bohème Opéra. And you know, one of the things is that mm -hmm. you know we're talking we're talking about kids and, mm -hmm. and entertaining them during the holiday. You cannot always go to those big, you know, mm -hmm. uh, New York City theater mm -hmm. or Philadelphia mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. And right here downtown Trenton is a lot of little mm -hmm. venues. Mm -hmm. that Passage are, Theater is yeah, right there. Yeah, There's yeah, some great venues that going are there. doing uh, you know things during the holiday. But Bohème Opera has mm -hmm. this wonderful. Uh, um, performance uh, about the, the the story of mm -hmm. uh, you know uh, a crippled child mm -hmm. and you mm -hmm. know it's it's the nativity story and so on. But they're doing it in chur in churches, mm -hmm. uh, so you can bring your family and so on. If that you go around and Google, you can actually entertain mm -hmm. your family and not always paying high ticket That's price. Awesome. Another yes. great option is Kelsey mm -hmm. Theater. Kelsey, oh, Kelsey Theater and Mercer Kelsey, County Community yes. College. And there I is love a it. special guest that actually is in the show, and it's the president of Mercer County Community College. Yes. Debbie oh, Preston Debbie. is yeah. starring right. in awesome. the performance really? this oh, holiday. Really? That and, is awesome. And yes, so you have to go. And she is not just doing a cameo. She told them she had a theater background. Right. And they put her in the right. show. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. The holidays go, go to Kelsey that Theater. That is awesome. And you will That's see exciting. Debbie Preston on the big stage. That's awesome. Which is really amazing. That's and Christmas awesome. Carol at McCormick. Well, what do you, so what one do thing you that do? I want to highlight yes. here is what happens in Trenton. Yes, they yes. Do the absolutely. We do, they do the uh, Hanukkah, they yes. do the Christmas mm -hmm. tree, right. and then we do the Smith Family Foundation does the Canara lighting. Oh, We're going to have it in uh, a the whole Kanara program. The Canara lighting? Yes, it's for Kwanzaa. Oh, for it's Kwanzaa? One, it's for Kwanzaa. Oh, yeah. It's okay. going to be an out. amazing program. Oh, yes, It'll yeah. be on December 27th in City Hall, and then we'll come out and light the Canara, and it's just another time for giving and celebrating and See? loving on one another. Oh, so I love please, that. Yeah, we want to get out. that invite. We would yeah. love to come Absolutely. out and visit the Smith Family 430, Yeah, 4.30 to yeah. 6.30 p.m. right in the atrium. Yes, oh, nice. Well, tell us a little bit about the, the vision and the outreach for Smith Family Foundation as we close out the show. Tell, yes. tell us a little so, bit. So um, the vision, of course, as you know, um, Ms. Stoney talked about the, the Purple Ribbon, right? Yes. So yes. our um, idea for the Purple Ribbon is, and with community engagement Mm -hmm. It's to bridge the gap and, and, and forge relationships and collaborations with organizations in the city of Trenton, right? Yeah. Trent, Trenton is amazing. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Trenton Absolutely. is amazing. And amazing. when we talk about forging these relationships, mm -hmm. you know, we also um, have um, a program. It's not so much of a program, but an initiative, the I Am The Change, the Pathways to Student I love Success, that. right? So I am the what change. we do is the director, um, Ms. Cherie Short, does an amazing job with... Um, the scholars in the I am the change. So this mm -hmm. um, I am the change consists of first year scholar, uh, high school, first year college graduates, right, mm -hmm. or high, first generation um, students who are going on to college. And we don't the Smith Family Foundation. We don't just provide them scholarships and say, "Hey, right, here's right. the money. Bye. See you later." We, we got. The we gist. follow them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, right, right, right. This, this is, is a lifetime. Right. Yeah, yeah, right. Right. It's a lifetime. It's a purple ribbon. Right. It's just that's, that's really neat, right. and that's why we're all here today is to so really we highlight them. that the Smith family Giving Tuesday. Yes the holidays and all yeah. the great gifts we're going to receive, right? I think you might have brought me some gifts here today, right? Did you bring yes. me my gifts since I gave you yours? <laughs> <laughs> but we just want to thank all of you for being here and highlighting the good work that's going on in Trenton and really Better Together is important. All the collaborations that are going on you've been mm -hmm. highlighting through the Smith Family Foundation. That's what's important. And the holidays are going to be just as festive with, with all of you being engaged in it. So we're so glad to be able to feature you today on the show. Yes. Thank you for being here. Here. Thank you so much for bringing yeah, us. Thank you for all thank the work you. you do and will continue to do. Thank Absolutely. You. Thank, thank you. And thank you to all of you out there that are watching The Gab. Melissa and I are so happy and are wishing you a happy 
holiday. Happy holidays. Happy Thank holidays. you for watching. We stay for every family working hard to bring their legacy to life. For every community organization providing transformational services to our great city. We stay for the local businesses and community advocates revitalizing the neighborhoods with strong leadership. We stay for every first responder and essential worker who sacrifice themselves daily for our safety. We stay for every child with a dream to see their city thriving. We stay to develop today's leaders for tomorrow's challenges. We are here because we care. We are staying because this is my Trenton. Trenton. Your Town Tube is today's number one all-local promotion, social media and networking in the Princeton-Mercer region. The most effective, attractive, quickest and affordable ways to reach a huge local audience.